Hi, I'm a member from the Brobdingnagian Builders, and today in Tips and Tricks, I will be explaining when to use the motor move for seconds command block. Here is one example of when we use the motor move for seconds command block. What you just saw was our wall centering program. The way this program works is we put the wall in the lower right corner. Once it's in the lower right corner, we can then use move by rotations to place it accurately in the middle. You may be asking yourself, how do we put it in the lower right corner? First, we place the wall in the most exaggerated spot, which was the upper left corner. Then we timed how long it takes our motor at a particular power setting to move all the way down and all the way to the right. We then use those time values with the motor move for seconds command block. But now you may be asking yourself, what happens if the wall isn't in the upper left corner to begin with? Say for example, it's somewhere in the middle. Well, the beauty of the move for seconds command block is it won't get stuck in your program as if you're using move by rotations. Let's put the wall in the middle and see how the program reacts. Right now, it's somewhere in the middle. Two, one, go. As you can see, the program still worked. If we had used the move by rotations, the program would have been stuck forever at the first move to the bottom command. That's the power of move by seconds. Let's take a look at some other examples of where we used the move by seconds. In the crane and bat mission, we use it to square our robot up. Let's take a look. Traffic jam, safety factor, and swing. Let's take a look. Speed. 